CompTIA, Security Plus, SY0-701, Practice Exam, Questions 61 through 65. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 61. An employee accidentally attaches a document containing customer names and social security numbers to an external email. Which of the following tools would be best suited to detect and help prevent this type of data exposure? The answer is D, DLP. Data loss prevention, or DLP for short, is designed to detect and prevent the unauthorized sharing of sensitive information, such as personally identifiable information. In this scenario, a DLP tool could scan outgoing emails for specific data patterns, like social security numbers, and automatically block or alert on the attempt to transfer. The use of DLP helps organizations reduce accidental data leaks and enforce compliance with privacy regulations. Question 62. A security administrator wants to prevent downloaded programs from running automatically on endpoints until they can be reviewed for safety. Which of the following would best enforce this control across all managed devices? The answer is C. EDR policies. EDR policies, or endpoint detection and response policies, allow administrators to define specific rules that control the behavior of endpoints. These policies can block the automatic execution of newly downloaded files, require manual approval, or trigger additional analysis before allowing execution. This helps prevent malware from launching immediately after download and provides greater control over how software behaves on endpoints. Question 63. A legacy Linux server cannot be upgraded to meet modern security standards. As a workaround, a host-based firewall has been configured to allow connections only from approved internal IP addresses. Which of the following best describes this type of security control? The answer is A. Compensating. A compensating control is an alternative security measure put in place when a system cannot fully meet a specific requirement. In this case, since the legacy Linux system cannot be updated or hardened, restricting access through a host-based firewall is a way to reduce risk. It doesn't fix the underlying issue, but provides a reasonable layer of protection to support continued safe operation. Question 64. The management team observes that manually created user accounts often have incorrect access rights, leading to delays and security concerns. Which of the following automation techniques should a systems administrator implement to ensure consistent and accurate account setup? The answer is D. User provisioning script. A user provisioning script automates the creation of user accounts, including assigning permissions, adding users to the correct security groups, configuring email, enabling access to required applications, and enforcing security policies. This ensures consistency, reduces human error, and improves both security and efficiency across the organization. It can also integrate with directories like Active Directory or cloud identity providers to streamline onboarding and enforce role-based access. Question 65. A company recently experienced a security breach and wants to improve visibility into future incidents. It decides to implement a SIEM solution and task a security analyst with reviewing alerts and system logs on a regular basis. Which of the following types of controls is the company implementing? The answer is C. Detective. A detective control is used to identify and respond to security events after they occur. In this case, the SIEM system gathers logs and generates alerts, while the analyst reviews them to identify patterns or behaviors that could indicate a security issue. This type of control is crucial for recognizing threats that bypass preventive measures and for supporting timely incident response. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? 
Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.